Now, as you've seen this week, we're showing all the ways you can take five dollars chicken and make a meal for a few people out there. Today, we're going to use that chicken stock we made yesterday. We're going to make a chicken little soup. It'll be pretty tasty. We got some egg noodles. We got some chicken breast we're going to fry up a little bit here in a pan, or actually a pot. You know that brown on there, the flavor. Chicken stock. Got some leeks, carrots, some celery, a little seasoning. It's going to have to cook in that pot for a little bit to soften everything up. It's going to be real good. So let's get to it. All right, so first we'll start with our cast iron pot here. Got a little, just just enough to keep it slick at the bottom, a little canola oil. Here we got, uh, that's two good sized chicken breasts of uh, meat that are cubed up there. We'll start by frying these up just a little bit. Just start getting a little bit of a color to them. Of course, color is flavor. Flavor's good. We got a little Cajun seasoning. Now, while this isn't particularly Cajun soup, I do like a little heat in the soup. And yeah, we'll just put a little sprinkle. It's nothing crazy. And we're not cooking this all the way through. It's just to get some color on this chicken. Okay, so we got some brown on this chicken going here. We all grab our celery. It's oh about a cup or so. We'll dump that in. Grab our carrots. About a cup or so. Get those in. Now we got our leeks. Now, a lot of people will cook the leeks outside, making like potato leek soup. Might be like a good leek for a place of onion in certain dish. Just being one of them. You want to pop that in there. Do a little shaky shake. Not too much, this is salt laden, so be careful. It's also spicy. Get friendly here for a few seconds. We'll dump our stock in. We want the vegetables soften up when we get to our noodles. Alright, give me a stir. Make sure I grab. I think we got just about two quarts, a little over two quarts chicken stock. Now, depending on how much that fills up this pot, we might have to add a little water to it. Typically, I like to use stock in place of water when I'm making most dishes. So I might add the liquid. I want to add liquid that's got flavor to it. But sometimes things don't allow for that. So you add water. But go to chicken stock first, it's got the best flavor. There's a big thing of chicken stock here. Nice and clarified. It's a little cloudy, but it looks really good. Pour it in nice and slow because you don't want to spill any. Good. Give that a stir. Now we're going to let this come up to a boil and we're reduced to a light simmer. Go for about 15 minutes. We'll check our carrots, our celery, and see how done those are. Those are really a driving factor on this because you don't want to have a soup and bite into a mushy carrot. But you also don't want to bite into a real crunchy carrot either. So we're going to dome this up. Check 15 minutes. And hopefully it's time to add these noodles in. Alright. So we've had our ingredients here boiled up. I just took a taste before I put the noodles in. Everything's tender. To the right amount. To the mouth. Carrot still has a nice bite. That leek is buttery. Buttery delicious. Now I've got some egg noodles here. Now we're not gonna have to put a full pound in. We're gonna put probably about uh, half a pound, so half a pack in. We're gonna let it cook for about six minutes. So 
about half the pack. Get a stir, turn our heat bag up. Start lid bag on. Like I said, six, maybe five minutes once it starts boiling. The lid on is going to help bring that temperature back up where it just dumped out from the noodles going in. All right, so our noodles are out dente. Everything's cooked up. That is a lovely spoon of goodness here. I'm going to have me a bite. is good you can't buy that you can make it you can't buy that that's chicken noodle soup all right guys thanks for joining us on Buzz Cookhouse like share and subscribe tell your mom and them y'all be safe out there we'll see you next time